So I invite you to sit in a way that's comfortable for you as we arrive and settle into our equinox and peace day call. Sitting, arriving, breathing. You can have your eyes open or closed, whatever feels good for you at this time. And as we sit here together, I invite you to imagine a strand of light connecting your heart with each of the hearts of the beings around you. So all of the living beings around you, I invite you to imagine in your mind's eye, in your moral imagination, a strand of light connecting your heart with each and every living being near you. Perhaps there's some plant beings, Perhaps there's a pet or another human. Perhaps there's some unseen beings, some spiders or some ants. So I invite you as you sit, as you arrive on this call to see one strand of light connecting your heart with each and every heart of the living beings around you. And I invite you to rest into this connection, breathing into it. And as you hold those strands, I invite you to stretch out more strands further afield. A strand connecting through walls or through your car, wherever you are in the world. To any plant beings near you, any tree beings, bushes. Any furried ones, winged ones overhead, the beings of the soil any human beings passing by or in a room next door or your neighbor, a strand of light connecting your heart with each and every living being in your area. And hold in your mind's eye these connections to the beings around you, your neighborhood, your community, or perhaps you're visiting the place that is holding you at this time. And resting into these connections, these strands of light connecting your heart with each heart. I invite you to stretch out more strands to all the beings of the bioregion that you're in, all the plant beings, the beings in the water, the beings flying overhead, the pets, the insects, the mycorrhiza fungi, the humans, whatever they're doing right now. Some are resting or eating or walking, speaking, connecting. A strand of light connecting your heart with each and every living being in your watershed, your bioregion. And rest into this connection, these connections, these strands of light connecting your heart with each of theirs. And I invite you to stretch some strands of light from your heart to each and every living being to the north of you, going across state lines and cities and borders, into forests and rivers and waters, into homes and on streets, all the living beings to the north of you. Imagine a strand of light connecting your heart with each of theirs, beings who you know, Beings maybe on this call, beings you've never met, you maybe will never meet. See in your mind's eye a strand of light connecting your heart with each and every living being to the north of you. All the way into ice and deep water, high overhead.
been holding these strands, I invite you to stretch out some strands to the east of you, all the living beings to the east of you, the human, the furry, the winged, the webbed, the very small beings, the very large beings, young and old, being born and passing, all the living beings to the east of you. See a strand of light, feel a strand of light connecting your heart with each of theirs. And resting into these connections, feeling these strands of light. We invite you to stretch strands of light to the south of you. Again, across deserts and roads and highways and cars, overhead, through rivers and waters. Those working, those resting, those praying all the living beings to the south of you. A strand of light connecting your heart to each of theirs. And finally, to the west of you, stretching further strands of field from your heart to each and every living being to the west of you. The human beings, the more than human beings, the plant beings, the furry, the winged, the webbed, those in water, those flying, driving, swimming, resting, eating, all the living beings to the west of you, one strand of light connecting your heart to each of theirs. And as you rest into these connections, I invite you to see, are there any other living beings on this entire planet on Gaia to connect to? Anyone that has maybe been northeast or southwest, someone you haven't touched yet, just a strand of light connecting your heart with each and every living being on this beautiful planet, those deep in the soil, those overhead, so that you see a web of life connecting your heart to each and every heart of the beings of this planet in this web of life. And I invite you to rest into this web of life, into this sense of connectedness, this sense of interbeing. I invite you to breathe into these connections, to rest into them. You are a jewel in a vast net. You are a jewel in a vast net. We each are, we all are. And as we rest into this web of life, into this interconnectedness, I invite you to open softly, gently, opening your heart to what's coming through the tugs in the web of life. Tugs of joy, of celebration, those beings who are having a good day, those beings who's maybe they're celebrating their birthday or celebrating the equinox, those beings in reverence, in rest, in joy, in ease, in peace, not holding on to it, letting it pass through you, letting it cycle through the web of life, but Allowing yourself to be touched by the beauty, the gratitude, the contentedness, the joy, the ecstasy coming through the tugs and the web of life, pulsing through you. And then I invite you as well to open to the pain coming through the web of life here on this day, on this International Peace Day, this September equinox. Any grief that's coming through, any beings having a hard day in fear, in pain, in suffering, in hopelessness, 
not holding on to them with your body, letting them pass through you, letting the sorrows ripen in you and breathing them out again. That too is part of our web of life. The suffering, the grief, the sadness, the pain. Opening to the world's pain, to what's happening right now on this beautiful planet. Remembering to breathe, continuing to breathe, not holding on to anything in your body. And now I invite you to see, is there anything you'd like to send out into the web of life? Are there any prayer or well wish, any words you'd like to send out in the web of life as you sit here connected on this International Day of Peace and this equinox? What might you send from your heart to each and every heart of this beautiful planet? Send it out now from your heart to theirs. Sending your prayer, your well wish, your aspiration through the web of life. There is nowhere you can go where you are not held in this web of life. There is nowhere that you can go where you are not held in this web of life. maintaining these connections no need to drop them i invite you to keep this connectedness throughout this call and throughout this day and this weekend and beyond just inviting you to stir and stretch in whatever way feels good for you and just to close i want to acknowledge that this is a practice called the web of life meditation that it comes from the work that reconnects led by the root teacher Joanna Macy, eco justice, Buddhist philosopher and activist. And as I speak her name, I honor her as well as all of our teachers and mentors and elders. I also want to recognize Starhawk and Mary Beth and Ruby. Beautiful to be with you all on this call and honoring you and grateful for you joining us as well. And just want to yeah, close with this invitation to take this meditation with us, this feeling of interconnectedness into this day and into this time of the great turning, turning towards life in every moment of every day as we turn into fall, as we turn at the equinox, as we turn towards peace. So sending, sending well wishes and sending interconnectedness and love out through the web of life to all of you on this call. Thank you so much.